Hello friends and neighbors and welcome to the inside of my camera bag. Day three of VEDS and I'm realizing now that I'm going to be pretty much perpetually a day behind with like all the information that I give you but I do want to give you some updates on fellow VEDSies. We've now had a number of people upload their first VEDS video of the month. I have just uploaded uh, today's video, day two video. Oh, I I need to go to the library, that's right. Among those definitely having started VEDS uh, are Alicia, book 5204, my girlfriend, Jethro, I Jethrobot, Jesse, Coded Lock Films, Katie Terberg, and also another one that I found yesterday, Shellybot, also known as the younger half of the Short Sisters, if any of you remember the Short Sisters. She has her own channel now, and she is doing VEDS, and she doesn't have all that many subscribers, just a little over 100, and she's really, really good, and her videos are entertaining, so I would definitely recommend that you subscribe to her. All of those channels, in addition to any other channels that I find are doing VEDS uh, after filming this will be in the description. You're mostly getting a shoulder, aren't you? So right now, I am getting ready to head back from Bowling Green after having done the Sunday service and having watched an afternoon's worth of Doctor Who episodes with my sister and my brother. I'm making a quick stop by the library so I can return the audiobook that I checked out a couple of weeks ago of The Time Traveler's Wife so that I have something to listen to during my travels. I'm guessing this qualifies as audiovisual in the audiovisual thing. Now it's off to get a little bit of food because it's around dinner time and some caffeine so that I can stay awake and then I'll be on my way. So the reason why I am doing all this commuting back and forth is because I don't actually technically have an apartment in Bowling Green anymore because of reasons. And I should say I don't, but Matt and Hatter and all the other various personas for all Banky Gay 408 intents and purposes are still living in my BG apartment. I, however, am not living there anymore and I'm not actually technically living in Bowling Green anymore because I need to find a job in addition to the church job so that I can support myself in Bowling Green. Until I can do that, I'm having to commute back and forth for my church job. And I haven't actually had a chance to watch any videos. I haven't watched Jethro's first Vets video yet, which he uploaded late, and I haven't watched Jesse's second video yet, and last I checked, my girlfriend was in the process of filming her second video today, so I haven't watched that. So, I really don't have anything to respond to at this point. So, that being said, I'm gonna shut off the camera and turn it back on when I'm home. Bye. And hey, now I'm home and stuff. So I have now watched the videos from the other Vedsies, and you should go watch the videos from the other Vedsies as well. You can go watch Jethro with his open letter to graduate school, which I wholeheartedly agree with, and you can also watch him do some taiko drumming. You can go see a wonderful video from my girlfriend Alicia, and I'm not just saying that because she's my girlfriend, it really is wonderful about the importance of history and teaching history in schools. You can go see Katie talk about some of her favorite fandoms, which actually reminded me of a video that I did, like, eons ago about some of my favorite fandoms. And you can go watch Jesse talk about a really weird nightmare that he just had. And actually, Jesse addressed something that we will need to address more fully eventually, and that is the matter of punishments and challenges. <laughs> That was weird. As usual, I don't really have any punishment ideas, but I do have one challenge that I would like to present to all of you. So recently I discovered that both Vlogdriver and Banky Kitty 408 uh, now allow me to use the custom thumbnails. So that's really cool, and you might have noticed that the last couple of Ved's videos have had a, uh, a custom thumbnail on them. But uh, as many of you are no doubt aware, I don't really have a flair for visual design. I would like to ask some of you guys to design thumbnail templates for my reviewing series on Bank Geek 8408. So like something that will give me a background that will look pretty much the same for all the reviews but it'll just change slightly depending on what it is I'm actually reviewing. And I think that does it for this Labor Day. It's not actually Labor Day as I'm filming this which is why I didn't mention it until now but happy Labor Day and I hope you celebrate labor in all its forms. What, what do we actually celebrate on Labor Day? And until tomorrow, I'll see you later.